Eric Reed, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be delving into soloing, but not each instrument or each musician soloing for a long period of time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be soloing and trading solos and trading ideas with our saxophone player, Seamus Blake, tenor saxophone. So we're going to use just the basic blues, and he and I, well, you'll hear it. We're going to be kind of soloing at the same time, leaving space. We'll see where it goes. One, two, a one, two, three, ah. Uh. So hopefully we created an intense and fun and creative dynamic for soloing. It doesn't always have to be one musician soloing for a number of courses. The whole idea is group interaction. But in this particular case, it was just the two of us soloing back and forth, listening to each other, having to wait to see where he goes, and then me kind of just interrupting him and then saying something that I want to say. A lot like conversations, verbal conversations when people talk. Somebody will talk for a while, and then I'll, hopefully that person's listening, and then I'll add my two cents. And then he'll say, but wait a minute, wait a minute, what do you think about this? Music is very much the same thing. Music is communication. It's just musical on its notes and rhythms and harmonies as opposed to words. So when you're soloing, always keep in mind the rest of the band, because they're all listening to you and trying to get in there with you, and trying to support you as a soloist. Also, be cognizant of what you're communicating to the musicians and what you're communicating to the audience and keep them in mind. It can't just be this one single-minded or single-person journey of just, you know, meandering around just for endless choruses and endless minutes. There's always got to be some type of interaction going on, right? Got to be cohesive and coherent. 